We did a beautiful deck. We were very happy. Georgia Spriggs was so happy with the job done by her contractor, Joel Strickland, she added on to it to include a sunroom to her Fayetteville home. When he showed up, he tore the roof down, tore the steps off, made a muddy mess, and he was gone. And her money and was gone, too. To reach him, she paid Strickland more than $6,000. Each time we tried to reach him, we got a lot of excuses, a lot of no-shows. She sent the certified letter to the contractor, but it was returned as undeliverable. After six months and the project still just a muddy mess, Georgia got in touch with me. I reached out to Joel Strickland, who said there was a misunderstanding with a brick for the job and it would not be in until spring. He said if she couldn't wait, he would refund her money. If he had just communicated and said something, anything, but not saying any communication at all, not answering the phone, not even sending a note. Georgia didn't want to wait any longer, so she opted for a refund and got her $6,600 back. I'm just happy I got my money, and I thank you so much. So glad we could help get those results. Now, spring is a time many people are doing home improvements. To protect your money, try not to pay a big lump sum up front. Instead, as work progresses, make those payments. Also, try and get an estimated start and finish date in writing. And, of course, if any job is over $30,000, make sure they are licensed to do that work. I'm Troubleshooter Diane Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.